Hello, my name is Leo. I'm a PhD candidate studying mosquitoes at the Ohio State University. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about making insect specimens. It's really important to keep insect specimens so that we can look at their features and identify what kind of species they are. There are many kinds of insects and just as many ways to reserve them. However, there are three common ways to make insect specimens, pinning, pointing, and keep them in a vial of alcohol. So here I'd like to show you three ways of making insect specimens. First, we'd like to talk a little about uh, pinning insects. The technique we use, we need to include tools like soft forceps, pinning block, styrofoam, insect pins. Normally before we start pinning insects, we have insects keep in a freezer to keep them fresh. And after we take them out, we normally air dry them for at least 20 minutes on a piece of paper towel, like this. And then first step, we use forceps to pick up a beetle. And then set it up gently. And then we select the right size of pins. There are different sizes of pins, depends on the orders or the size of insects. And also there are different spots on the body of insects that we pin through. We pin through the beetles gently, but we don't go all the way through. And then we pick up the pin with the insect and then put through the hole of the pinning block and then push all the way to the bottom. That way we can make sure all the insects are at the same height. And then we move the insects and the pin and pin onto the styrofoam. The last very important step is to label the specimen with a pre-made label. The first label, we have the collection, location, the date when you collected, and your name. We move them into your collection box, and there you go, you have the first pin insect specimen. So second is pointing insects. For insects that are too small to pin, we point them. And the tools we needed are white paper, scissors, clear nail polish, insect pins, and pointers. First, we want to cut a bunch of triangles out of paper. You should have a page in the back of your 4-H Collect notebook where you can cut out triangle points. After you have some points, take an insect pin and push the pin through the paper. So first, we pick up a pin and push through the wide end of the triangle, and then we push through the hole on the painting block, and then you bend a little bit on the point, so you can have a little bit angle. And then we have three defrosted smaller insects, such as mosquitoes. And you put the mosquito on the styrofoam into a position you like. Normally, we show the right side of uh, the insect, so your point go onto the right side of the thorax. Take a little dip of the clear nail polish. Dab gently, and you put the point on the right side of the thorax of the tiny little insect. This is how you make a point insects. And also, before you forget, you need to make a pre-label before you confuse with other unpinned insects. Finally, the third way to preserve an insect is to store in alcohol. With some insects that are soft, such as caterpillar or other larvae, we normally just store them in a small vial and container with 70% alcohol or rubbing alcohol. Remember, keep the label inside of the vial as well as always write your label in pencil. Here is an example of a larvae and lion in 70% alcohol. And on the bottom, we have similar labels, but write in pencil so the alcohol doesn't wash it off. There, you have three ways of making insect specimens. Thank you.